Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So today we'll be talking about action groups. So let's go ahead and start. So let's go to alerts. And here you can see there is a section called action groups. So basically action groups are a feature in Microsoft uh, Cloud Computing Platform that enables you to set up automated responses to alerts and notifications from various uh, Azure services. So they, uh, they allow you to define a set of actions that will be triggered when a particular event occurs, such as sending an email or scaling an application, ensuring that you can uh, react to critical events as soon as possible. So that is what uh, the definition of uh, action groups are. So let's click that. And here I have already created one action group. Let me show you how this is done. So let's click create here and select the appropriate subscription that you want and the appropriate uh, resource group. In this case, I have created uh, action group RG. So click that and coming to the region, you have global as well as uh, the other regions as well. So if you select global, this action group decides where to store the action group and uh, the action group is uh, persisted in at least two regions to ensure that uh, uh, regional res uh, resiliency and processing of actions may be done uh, in any geographical region. On the other hand, if you consider about regional, this action is stored within the specific uh, selected region. If you select not uh, central years, it will be for that specific region and it's a zone redundant. So processing of action is performed within that region. So in this case, we'll just select uh, global. And in this case, I'll just add it as uh, action one. So let's go to the next one, which is uh, notifications. So let's click here. So we have two options, uh, email Azure uh, resource manager rule and email SMS message push on voice. So let's select first one. So in this case, you can uh, select the property role uh, whom the alert should be uh, going through. So we have uh, owner, contributor, reader, uh, monitoring, contributor, monitoring, reader. So select the appropriate option that you want and click OK. And uh, it's just that let's add it as notify contributor. So that is how we can do that. And coming to the other one, uh, email, SMS, this one. So here you can select the appropriate email address and uh, give the email ID. If that is SMS, just uh, select SMS and provide the number and so on and so forth. So select the appropriate uh, option that you want, and click OK. So in this case, I'll just leave it as default and uh, coming to the next one, which is actions. So, uh, so here we have different options. So if you talk about these options, uh, coming to the first one, which is uh, Azure Automation Runbook. So it's a set of partial uh, or uh, Python scripts that can be run in response to an event. On the other hand, like uh, Azure Functions. So these functions is a piece of code that can execute in response to an event or trigger. And uh, a notification that sends to Azure Event Hubs is a message that uh, sent to Azure services that allows you to process and analyze large uh, streams of data. And coming to ITSM, which is a uh, IT service management tool is a system that helps you to manage and automate IT related tasks and workflows. So a notification that sent to an ITSM tool can be used to create or update a ticket, for example, to notify IT persons of a critical issue that needs to be addressed. So coming to the logic app. So the workflow is a, is a way of automating uh, workflows between different systems and services using a visual interface. And coming to the secure uh, webhook, so that is secure using authentication and encryption mechanisms to ensure that only authorized parties can be having that access. So coming to the last one, which is a webhook. So webhook uh, is a way of triggering an external uh, system or a service to perform a specific action in response to notification events. So in simple terms, webhooks uh, in action groups are a powerful feature that allows you to automate workflows and integrate it with external uh, systems and services ensuring that uh, you can uh, react to critical events in your uh, Azure resources in real time. So those are the definitions of uh, these action types according to the docs. So you can select it and select the appropriate option that you want. So in this case, I've not selected uh, any runbook. So here you can, uh, if you have a virtual machine, you can just select uh, stop the virtual machine if that particular uh, event isn't triggered and so on. So that is how you can select the appropriate options and uh, you can select uh, tags if you want and you can just review and create it. However, we'll be getting error since uh, we have not completed it. So yeah, so coming to the concepts, I hope you guys understood the concept of action groups.
so once you create it uh, you'll be uh, seeing that action group here you see we have selected the, uh, this action group so yeah i hope you guys understood the concept of today's video if you like the video please click the like button below and if you want to subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone